and welcome to this edition of Susan Sells. The end of another lovely week, or depending on where you are in New Zealand, the start of one. Either way, it's good. And a great place to be tonight is right here at Canterbury Television Studios in Wairaki Road in beautiful Christchurch, especially as the aroma of beautiful, beautiful local pork wafts across the heated studio. How was that for an intro, Brian? That was wonderful. You like that? Yeah, Should I really do it again? Yeah, no, it's all right. Oh, I'll stick with that one. This is Brian from Euro Deli Max Hi, in Westminster Street, the Hills Road End. And I've been trying to explain to him that hot lights and pork mean that everything should stay here and be consumed by our crew when he goes. He's having none of it. No, no. And I can see why. No, because I'm hungry. This is beautiful, that. beautiful meat. Yep, this is really good meat. It um, comes from our farm on Cressy Farms, which is... Um, uh, free range, uh, free farmed pork. I shouldn't say free range. It's uh, free farmed, um, which is happy pigs. Out wandering in the paddocks. Out wandering in the pigs uh, in the farms. Love We've it. got. We sell fresh fa- um, fresh pork cuts, um, smoked. We've got different types of bacon, salamis, different other small goods. Mm. I really, I just don't know where to start. Yeah. I just want to have it all, really. Awful. It's, awful. it's good. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll start on that side then. Okay, okay, let's start here. Fresh pork. Pork racks. Um, we actually sell pork racks uh, quite often. We go to the farmer's market at Dean's Bush every Saturday morning, mm. and we sell a lot of our pork there. That is not a cut you see all that often, is it? A pork rack? Not a lot, but that was actually on Master Chef last Friday mm. before last. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember exactly when. And um, but we've been always doing them, and that's always a nice cut to have, mm. nice wee roast. And look at that butterfly, butterfly pork, pork steaks. Be- oh, look, there's just it's just fantastic quality. Yeah. Yeah. And then pork cutlets. Basically, it's uh, it's like a pork chop, but it's got a all the big backbone sure. missing, so it's only got a little bit of rib there for you to um, hold on to. This has got to be missing a number on it. That's pork fillet. That's Seven pork seventy-nine. Fillet. Yeah. So fresh pork fillet. Outstanding. Yep. Look at that. I love your bacon. Okay, well, we've got several types of bacon. Um, mm-hmm. We've got a dry cured and a semi dry cured, hot smoked. Now this the, guy here. That's the hot smoked one. Yep. So that's basically hot smoked in the smokehouse, almost ready to eat, and you can fry it up. Whereas oh. the um, dry cured bacon still needs to be cooked. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've got the uh, eye, streaky, shoulder, and. Now, I'm not going to touch the salami. Bacon. Honestly, the salami I'm not. Is, we've got three different types here today. We actually make seven different types of salami. Yep. We've got this one here, which as you can see on the camera now, is the Spanish salami. Mm-hmm. I think it's this, this one here. That's a, it's a brand new one. We just started making that a wee while ago. Mm-hmm. And then the middle one is venison. We make the venison salami. Obviously, we don't farm the venison. No, no. And the, this one here is a Hungarian salami. This is, um, we've got a nice bit of paprika and things like that in it. Lovely. It's a really nice tasting ones. This beside you here is really interesting too. It's a, what that, is it? That's copper. Copper is a cut out of a shoulder of pork, and it's um, oh, dried boy. and cured. Good stuff. Yep. Great, great. Happy pork, happy meat. Yep. Euro Deli meats, the artisan butcher indeed. Brian, lovely to meet you. 325 Westminster Street in Mighty Hull. That's the Hills Road in. Head along and see Brian and the team. Vic is from Wheelchair Services in Waltham. How are you doing, Vic? Good, thank you. Ah, oh, look, th- you shouldn't do this to me. You shouldn't put these things in front of me. It's too tempting to play with. Well, why don't you have a sit on it and see if it's comfortable? Because that would be where you... St- if you were going to buy it, which I know you're not, but if you were going to buy it, that would be the first thing I'd get you to do. Really? Would be to sit on it, because it's got to be comfortable. Because you, you sell these and you service these? Yes, we do. Oh, you'd have to, wouldn't you, really? Hey? So... <clears throat> oh, so that's, not, that's not bad. Um, we stand for safety. Thank you very much. No seatbelt? No, no seatbelt. How hard are these to drive? I haven't been in one of these before. They are very easy to drive. The key's over this side, so you turn the key on. It has what's called electromagnetic braking, so that it's sitting there now, it's got the brakes on. And it's not until you touch the controls. You get a bit of a click and the brakes are off, and then as soon as you let it go again, the brakes are on. You'd sort of have to, really, wouldn't you? <laughs> Um, so Vic, oops, where are you? You're there. You service these as well? We do service them. Right. We can arrange funding if you need funding, if you're having, you know, if you've got a disability or something like that and you need mobility. Okay. We can help you with that. We have, this is the middle of the range, there's three above this one and yep. another four below it. It's it's quite cool. It's got all these gizzy wizzy things on it, the yes, indicators it, and the flashing lights and... Yes, it also has 
this one has what I call almost like stability control. Yeah. It slows down automatically when you turn a corner. That's great. With a top speed of 10k, you wouldn't want to suddenly turn left. No. But with this one, you can because it just slows down, and then when you're going straight again, it goes back up to 10k again. It, it is very comfortable, I have to say. You could sit in this for, for quite a long period of time. Yeah, with a range of about 40 kilometres, you can sort of be in it for a couple of hours if oh. you want to go. Do the SBS? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, so roughly, what sort of price range for a vehicle like this? This one here is in, the, in between four and five thousand. Uh, it's four nine nine five. Mm -hmm. But if they say we saw it on CTV, I'll knock a few hundred off it. Ooh, ooh, Vic, I'm liking your style there. Now yeah. you service these as well. We do. Yes, on the new ones, we do a full service after six months at no charge. We. Our mobile service, we have four technicians with vans. We come out to your house. You don't have to get the scooter to us. We do it all on site. How has it been for people um, post-earthquake with footpaths and dust and all of that stuff? The, we're getting a few minor problems, but overall the, the scooters have done very, very quite well. In fact, on the day of the earthquake, I used one to get across town. I got there quicker than I could in the car. That's very sensible. So, look, there we are. If you're wondering where to get them from or where to take them, Here's where you go. Wheelchair Services, 29 Shakespeare Road in Waltham, mobilitysystems.co.nz. Vic, many thanks. The St Vincent de Paul shops, and there are three, have more than just clothes, don't they, Michael? They certainly do. I brought along some real treasures for you today. Gosh, where should we begin? Well, let's start with the Louis Vuitton boots, shall we? Now, what size are you? These are 42, so are they your size by no, any chance? No, they're not. I could put, like, three or four pairs of socks on and they'd still be a mile too big. But look at these. Oh, yeah. my word. Aren't they classy? We've had some real comments about uh, these boots during the week. These are... But oh, nobody look, has come along to buy them yet because they're not the Joan. right size. Joan's looking at them. She <laughs> wants them too. Size 42. So whatever that is in, in real money, that'd be, what, a nine-something? Ten? Eleven? <laughs> Brad, that's a seven. Okay. That's oh, not bad for $20, though, is it? $20 yeah. for Louis Vuitton. Oh, God. But look, I've got something really special for you. Now, shame, we've got shame. a few sporting books here, Graham Henry and Mark Greatbatch and Graham Murray. Yep. But this one's really special because I understand there's a gentleman called Martin Crow who's just decided to go back to first-class cricket. Oh! So I thought that we'd have this as a special this week. In fact, it's a gift for you. You can take it home and have a read of it. Thank you so much. That's oh, from us at the shop. It. Oh, thank you I very much. I think this much. will be a really special book now, isn't it? I think it could well yeah. be. Martin mm. look at him yep. back and in the day. And you could sit down, you could read it, listen to Val Dunican on your old stereo. You've got an old stereo at home? Oh, the old the garage, still? My son, yeah. Mick is music, you know, children do that these days with that doof doof mm. thing. Mm. Look, he could he could have a bit of a crack at a bit of vowel. Absolutely. I reckon that'd yeah. be win win. Roger Whitaker? Oh no gosh. <laughs> <gasps> I've yeah. got that at home somewhere, this next mm. one. Student yes. Prince. Marvellous piece that. In fact in fact I think that's mine. Mother? <laughs> do we need to talk? She's been clean out. I think she might have. And what oh. about um, yeah, My Fair Lady? There's another classic oh, there for you. goodness me. Yeah. Whoops. So we're finding, in fact, that um, people are starting to collect these old vinyls again. I've certainly got a mm. great collection myself at home. So hey. we have good quality vinyls there. So if you're interested in vinyls, come and see us at Stanmore Road. This could be the ultimate birthday present for someone who least expects <laughs> it. Couldn't it? Absolutely. Couldn't it, eh? Absolutely. Harry Seeker. Look, there's tons there. Yes. And, and, and fiction, clearly. That's right, yes. yes so you, everything you want. Yes. You take donations of books. That's right. We have many books coming in, and uh, we've been sorting those and gradually getting them out there. And so yeah. when the winter night's coming on, you want something to read, come and see us. We can help. That's, you know, at the moment, I know some of the voluntary libraries and some of the local libraries have, mm. you know, closed down. That's actually That's a right. really good idea. Yes. You could almost take them, buy them, take them back. Yeah, we haven't quite got a yet. library going yet, but, no, stage, but there's a thought there. It's kind there's of a, a concept, thought. isn't it, I suppose? <laughs> if you did that, you would call it a library, wouldn't That's you? Right, but maybe yes. even, Indeed. you know, a couple of bucks. So yeah. there are three stores that you have, Michael. That's right. We yeah. have our main one at Stanmore Road, mm -hmm. Ferry Road. And also over in Papineau. Which one? Which part of Ferry Road is it on? It's uh, the one at Wollstone, um, just up from. Uh, who's, who's the big supermarket on the corner there? Uh, uh, Raywood Fresh. Yeah, yeah. Just up past Raywood yep. Fresh. And the one in yep. um, Papineau is. Glendon's Road, just at the foot of the mall. Easy peasy. Yeah. So look, you're recycling. You're keeping the volunteers active. You're mm -hmm. giving money to the best cause that you could possibly That's be right. doing at the moment. The Society of St Vincent de Paul, and of course, great product coming your way as well. Love those Louis Vuitton boots. <laughs> Sorry, they're not your size. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> Twenty years, just like that, Annabelle from off the track. I can't How believe you it. Doing? I was driving here. Today.
my God, 20 years I first worked with you. I know, we were both children. I know, I know, I know. And now my daughter's taking over our business. So, hey, time goes by, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? But your business is still booming. Yeah, we're the only one left in the corner. We're on the corner of Westminster and Cranford Street. Um, the shop's called Off the Track, and we buy and sell second-hand curtains. So... That's what we do. We also make. So, but at the moment, we're really looking to buy because there's a lot of people that have got cracks in the walls and things like that, and they just want heavy curtains to bang in the cracks. Yeah, bang in the cracks, basically, and they're waiting for insurance and stuff like that. So, we're always looking to buy, and we've, as I said, we've been going for 20 years, so we're we do a good job. What so when you say you're looking, you you want to buy? You, you just bring your curtains into us, and we'll price them. Um, if they're heavy, we'll carry them in. If you don't like the price, we'll carry them back out for you. So you're not <laughs> you're not at all stuck. And what about quality on the curtains that you buy? Well, we, they have to be able to use them. That's the main thing. You know, they have to be able to have the. We will do alterations if there's a little bit of um, work need doing on the bottom. That's not a problem. We also um, obviously sell to you, and it's really important to have your measurements. So you just measure the length of your track or where you want your track to be from the top of the track down. And you can do your minimum length and your maximum length. And the track's really important if you've got more than one window because then we can have a huge curtain that we can split and do your two windows. So we need to know those So you basically want to know we how big the bit is that it's yeah. going to look like when it's mm. up. Mm. Not the glassy bit, no, but the, the, the top and from the bit. top. In the down, so we do both of that, and we also have a really good making service. So we make from you, we'll supply the material, you can supply the material, we'll do alterations. So we're really right across the board. And this is sort of an example of some of the stock that comes in. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful stuff. You know, we have we try and have really good. Just talking about, remember how we used to talk about the long drops, not <laughs> unlike the ones you've had to have in your garden. But it's you know, we've always got... been long drops in Christchurch. They've <laughs> usually been it off the track. Yeah, yeah. So we've got lots and lots of curtains in the shop, and yeah. but we are looking to buy. So it's it's terrific. So if you come in with those measurements, actually, I suppose if you are going to have to move out of your house to have repairs done, and you're going to go back into a house mm. that's going mm. to be remodelled. Mm. You may think now might be a really good time for you to take your curtains out because you will probably want new things once you've had all your repainting done anyway. It's exactly what's happening, and then we're just doing a few alterations for people making for new. So yeah. you can either bring your own fabrics into us or we can source them when we deal with the main suppliers. Open in town. Saturdays, but not Sundays. Saturdays 10 to 1. Yep. Sundays I sleep. Good girl, <laughs> so you should. Off the track has not moved, has not fallen down, still great service, still buying your curtains. Please go and see them. Uh, Three double five eight three nine eight. Paul joins us now from REM Cars. How are you? Marvellous. Excellent. So, great to be here. Good stuff. Fairly early on, but anyway, uh, we've got a good selection in stock at the moment. We're having significant troubles out of Japan because they lost three hundred thousand cars in that Whoa. earthquake and tsunami. So, and the, that, although they happen in the north, and we buy money from the south. The Japanese government is. Uh, subsidising the cost of vehicles. So the cost of vehicles in Japan has risen quite dramatically. And coupled with the government of this country has changed the emission laws at the end of the year, it's going to make uh, used stock, nice stock out of Japan quite difficult, unfortunately, towards the end. The, the government's um, got a lot of change the emission code to the Japan 2005 rule. So I guess now is the time, if you're looking oh, for now a before, great yeah. quality car, it'll, it'll to, affect people carries quite significant. Oh. Yeah, and uh, it'll, it's already decimated the four-wheel drive market and the van market will just completely uh, end that from Japan. So... If you're a new car distributor, the prices will be ramped up and they'll be... Uh, Now's the time to get in. ...be stealing from us like they did up to the 1980s before imports came in. Jeepers. So, bearing in mind, we've still got stuff here, so now's a good time. Uh, 2002 Toyota Allion. I sell a lot of these. These are basically the Corona replacement. A very good on fuel. A 4.5 on the fuel star rating. This one has travelled 32,000 Ks. It's got alloy wheels. It's got dark trim. They have five diagonal seat belts inside. Climate air conditioning. This one also has a reverse camera. Oh, good. So they're very um, safe, very, very reliable. Um, I enjoy selling these greatly. This car is priced at 13999 Excellent. 32,000 Ks. Great value. Uh, Suzuki Aereo or Liana, we've just had one that's just arrived. This is a 1500, travelled uh, 51,000 Ks, priced at 9999. They've got airbags, they've got a very nice high seating position, dark interior, they've got tinted windows, go fast spoil on the back, which does nothing except look good. Yep. <laughs> uh, and fuel injected. They're a very, very good little machine, and that is 9999. All our cars are fully workshop serviced. There's a six month warranty on them, and they're all speedo checked. That's cute. Uh, this is a 2003 Toyota Platts. My mum has one if she's watching. Uh, this has travelled 47,000 Ks. They're 1500 variable valve timing, 
Again, they're 4.5 on the fuel star rating car. They're basically the same platform as the uh, Eco or Ist mm-hmm. model. And that is priced uh, at a 9 triple nine. Lots of silver coming through. Oh, yeah, well, I just, I just randomly click some pics on the desktop and... You know, who knows what turns up. It was a theme. This is a 2000 Honda Accord at Tornio. It is a 2 litre. Bought this out of Tokyo, which is where we'll be heading back to next month. This has only travelled 13,000 k's by one owner. It's absolutely like new inside and out. And that is priced at 10 triple nine. And there's a, a whole lot more stock in there as well. Yep. Like this quite, a fun, quite a fun cargo. We've got 1,300 and 1,500 uh, models of these. Always popular because the rear seats fold flat into the floor. So very, very roomy. And we've got those from around nine to $10,000. And of course we've got 10 Corolla hatches and that's me gone. So come and see me at 18 and 19 Colorado Street or online at remcars.co.nz. We're now going to do something on live television that you should not try doing at home. Exactly. Or in a pub or really <laughs> anywhere there is a man around who loves you up till this point. I know. Wendy from Totally Organised. It's a bit scary, isn't it? I'm about to delve into that mysterious place known as a woman's handbag. Come here into mm. the light with all of your bits. She's going to empty her handbag on live television. Ladies. Now the reason for this is there is actually method in my madness oh, today is that I'm going to show you the best way. Like oh. if I said to you, um, can you answer my phone? It's ringing. Yeah. Oh good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. What are the chances that you're going to find it? Not well, much. I because couldn't answer Andrea's from the Mohair store. There you go. Live on it. That's, oh, my. that's what a woman's handbag there you go, blokes. We've always been wondering. That's the beginning of mine. That's <laughs> if you could see it. There you honestly. go. Yeah, that's, there you go. There, there, that's... there. I wondered where they went. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Sue's keys. That's that's my handbag. I haven't censored this or anything, um, except for the you know. Yeah, the things you've censored. The things I've censored. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's and that? We have a, a handbag organizer. This little baby here is actually made in Christchurch, and uh, we we had a bit of fun putting it together. Right. To make that practical and make it, you know, fit into your handbag. And then if I decide I'm sick of this, this is my Friday bag because yeah. it's nice and sunny, yay, yeah, end yeah. of the week. If I'm sick of this one and I want something different on Monday, I don't have to unpack it. I'm I loving, just take I'm that loving out where and... this is going. So, what do we do? Make this is so. my bag. I have lippies, as we do. Yes. There's actually zip-up sections in here. So I can hide my lippies in the zip-up section so that they don't go vanishing. A pen, you know, we all need pens. It's actually got pen slots. There's another pen into the pen slots. Ooh. This is a weird thing. This is a little tripod. But I always carry a little mini video camera with me because when I work with clients, we often film what we're doing. Let me see this. Where'd you so. get that? That's so cute. I want one. <laughs> oh, that's re- Okay, so you've that's got a weird little, thing. That's my little weird thing. So Where does the weird thing live? The weird thing just lives in the bottom there like that. Okay. But the video okay. camera itself, my little mini video, yep. slots in that side pocket there. Oh, my goodness. So I know. Yeah. But I've also got a stills camera because I take lots of before and after photos yeah, with yeah. my clients. So that's got another... So that's got another little home, which right is it. just top in there. Nice and easy. It's fun, 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 boring. iPod. You know, we all carry our iPods around with us. I actually just throw mine in the bottom because it's always got a cord attached, so that's easy. And to it's near the, the tripod. Home. And it's near the tripod. One of our other funky products, which is the, you know, shopping, eco shopping bags. Yes. I always have a spare one with me so that I don't have to use shopping bags. We've all got dongles nowadays for our Yes, cameras. we do. Slot from a dongle. That sounds a bit odd. <laughs> my pencil case. It just, it all it's goes just not stopping. In. in it goes. In totally organised. Incredible. And this is the half gun. price at the moment until the end of May. All the stock is half price at Totally Organised. And you're even looking for more consultants to I help. I am. I'm looking for people to sell the stuff I'm and learn how to organise so people. Amazed. Totally organised, double three seven one three seven five down to the lucky last. Totally organised. Co.nz. Unbelievable. Twenty nine. How much? Twenty nine dollars. Oh, cheapers. <laughs> wow. Totally organised. Donna Marie is with us now from Carpet Court. Welcome to the show. Hi, Sue. How are you? Good, thank you. You brought us a really interesting range of carpets That's on the show That's a lovely today. range, isn't it? It's yeah. from the True Colour Fibre. So it's the ones who can't afford to have the smart strand, which is made of our corn carpet. This is the, this is the next biggest selling carpet in, um, in the world. It's made from the same Mohawk. It's made um, in America, so it's the same um, huge factory. As you can see, it's a salt and pepper look. So mm-hmm. it's a fantastic uh, two-tone carpet. It's got this uh, stain-resistant warranty, and it's also got um, also the UV fade. But it's got what no other carpet, no other wool or nylon carpets have. It's called texture retention. Texture retention. So that would mean it won't track. That's right. So people have seen carpet on Fairgo with the puddling and track 
uh, tracking and power reversal. Basically, it's that velveteen lock, so when you walk down, you can see where you're walking down the hallway all the time. So this one is guaranteed not to do it. It's got these beautiful two tones. You've got, you've got your greens and taupes, and you've got your blues, and you've got all different colours. So the ones who want to introduce a little bit of colour now, everyone's going more into colour now. They're getting yes. away from the charcoals and everything. We're getting a bit more colour into our life. But it's exclusive to Carpa Court. So we've got, uh, normally you can have wool. Um, nylon and polypropylene, we've got all those as well, right from the very uh, the lowest grade right up to the highest grade. We've also got two two other fibres. This is a true living fibre, and I've also got the smart strand fibre. The thing with this one I think is is really awesome is that it's it's made from a recycled product, isn't mm, it? It a, is. A PET it, yes. type product. So yeah. it's just so good for the environment. It's excellent for the environment, and it's also it's for the people who are doing the house up. They want to keep it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing your house up and you want to sell it um, as um, as a spec home, we've got carpets for those too, mm -hmm. uh, like everyone else has got in Christchurch. We've all got the same range. Now, Carpet Court Christchurch City is a, is a family-owned business, third generation, but also one of Carpet Court New Zealand um, as a franchise. So we are one of 78, so that means we do buy huge um, and so like we buy in the hundreds of thousands of metres at a time because we all buy together, so that means you save massively. But the other thing with that, though, is because it's a family-owned business, these guys are going to stand behind their product. That's their family name. Well, uh, Mark... Mark Fitzgibbon is actually director of Carper Court New Zealand, so he's the, he's the you know so he he's a bigwig, even though he's also the owner of our shop. What's the price point on this? This one here is forty dollars a square, one five nine a lineal meter. Yep. So where Smart Strand is between two hundred and three hundred. These are in the lower end, and these start from one eighteen up to one sixty a, a, a lineal meter, which is three point six wide. This is the Legina Court range, and it is exclusive in Christchurch to Carpet Court. Two stores for you. 309 Cashel Street, 98 William Street in Kaiapui, or find them out on carpetcourt.co.nz. And now totally better, Dr Sharon, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? I'm much better than I was last time I saw you, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm You're very welcome. impressed with what you managed to achieve with one tiny tweak <laughs> live on air. Yes, and we're going to finish it up after we do the little um, insert thing. Excellent. So we've, um, I'm Dr Sharon Shea, and I've been practicing in Christchurch for eight years, and before that, ten years in Thames. And I fix people in one or two goes, any kind of health problem. Most people think of chiropractors as backs. Well, I'm an applied kinesiologist, so I do tummies and feet and ankles and anything you can think of. I can normally have something to, to fix it. And like you know, it just takes a little tiny bit, and it doesn't hurt bad, and, yeah, it's all good. So can we go to um, the little insert uh, with Let's my friends? Let's have a little look. Let's have a wee look at what the people think. Dr. Sharon helped our family notably my grandson and uh, also myself. Our grandson, when so he was born, there, got so stuck in the birth that's canal that's and the little chap's neck was put out. At about uh, five to six weeks, um, he was taken to Dr Sharon and she manipulated his neck, which took about five or ten minutes, and um, it clicked back into place and he's had no trouble since. Well, Dr Sharon has helped uh, both myself and my staff um, get over problems that we've had. Uh, with backs, shoulders, uh, legs, arms. Uh, we do heavy industrial work. We run a, run a water blasting business. We do a lot of heavy work, and uh, we get a few sore muscles, a few aches and strains, and Dr. Sharon has uh, helped us uh, alleviate those problems. Dr. Sharon helped me probably four years ago. Um, I smashed my ankle, and I had um, two physios working on me, and I still have problems walking. My first visit to Dr. Sharon, I, I hobbled in and I walked out. Uh, quite amazing. Wow. Well, I could probably walk in on my shoulder, but I'd struggle to walk out. Do you reckon you've yes. got time enough to do this yes. now? Yes. All right. Okay, you so she way? had a little bit left over from last week, so we're just going to do the last little bit of this. And uh, she'd never, ever heard of me other than my sign. On your fence, which yes. I've seen as I drive down Brown Street. That's right. That's right. How do you know where to go? <sighs> Been doing it for 18 years now. That's really am it's yeah. amazing. She's found the ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you there you were on that that little bike and you know looking like a toughy and here you are ah. whimpering. Ah. And I'm just rubbing gently. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, no, she is. She's not okay. hurting me at all. All obviously. right, try that now. Okay. And it's uh, $40 for a normal visit, $20 on ACC, 
$20 for children. There's the clinic, and it's free for children on ACC. Absolutely brilliant. Dr. Sharon, give her a ring. Make an appointment. 37919939. Oh, it's boogie on time. Thank you so much. No, Brad. You no. may not touch me. No, I'm, I wouldn't dare. No. <laughs> you, Last good. week, you were on. I threw you a bridal bouquet. That does not give you license to kill. No, no. Well, kiss. No, no. not that time. <laughs> but there we are. It does, however, give you the license to sell real estate, it which does. I understand you're doing. Like that. It's surprising. In the last 14 days, we've done seven settlements. So if you do have a, a real estate problem, we can fix it. There is a myth that you cannot sell real estate in the Christchurch market. It's actually a really yep. good time for smart vendors and smart purchasers yep. to get together. A little bit more difficult with all the little ports we've got to get done, mm-hmm. but it is happening. So Absolutely. Now, you've got some lovely properties to show us. Today, yes, again, we've got another good selection of homes. Oh, now, I like now, this. Now, now, this one is 1403 Main North Road. It's the old Methodist church in Waikuku. It's on the market at 180000 mm-hmm. It is classified heritage too. There are a couple of little things that we have to tell you about. Which you'll do when we go and have a look. Yep, come but and have a look. Give us a call. It's got a kitchen and a bathroom and stuff? No, it is simply just a church hall. Right. So There's but, probably a couple of those things you might want to ask. Yeah, sits on Where's the loo? Acre. It's just like being <laughs> low power. Now, yeah. if you're wanting to build out at Waikuku as well, we've got a 6,000 square metre lifestyle block for $220,000. It's all ready to go. It's all subdivided. Title is there. So, again, a great place to build. Nice. What's next? What's next is 59 Dumbarton Street in Redwood. Ooh. A nice four-bedroom home. The uh, the owner is a professional landscaper, so it's absolutely mint. Mm. $359,000. Four value. bedrooms, dual really, garage. Really Great location. Now, for Talaska Place in Howard, $950,000 buys you this lovely... Um, it's a showstopper. Uh, I've seen well, the pictures. Well, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you've really got to get inside the door to that one and have a look. Um, it's Tell us a good place is what, by which park? Nunwick Park. Nunwick Park. Yeah. Couldn't think of the name. So, great home, four bedrooms. And if you're in the investment or looking for your first home, flat one, 158 Stanmore Road in Richmond, near the Avon River, offers over 186000 And I will say there's no land damage on this property. Well, that's good. So, good little investment property, two bedrooms for somebody. 22 Burnridge Place in Belfast is a nice cottage uh, on the market at 259 Two bedrooms, full section, 606 square metres of land. Uh, flat 3, 35 Division Street in Rickerton, $245,000 for a nice two-bedroom unit, very, very close to the shops. And 460 Greers Road in Bishopdale, $249,000 for a two-bedroom house on a very, very nice little section. And our open homes... Go to our website, premierhomes.co.nz. There we are. Premier Realty. Brad's the man for you. Give him a call. 3520134. Thanks for that, Brad. Or premierhomes.co.nz. Now, just before we head away for the weekend, this is the boy you need to ring if you want to be on the show. Isn't he cute? Look, there we are. A real live one for you. Wave. Wave. This is Nathan. He hates me for doing this right now. Oh, that just makes my week. Susan Sells, here are the contact numbers where you can get Nathan to come and visit you.